at some point when you're drawing in perspective, um, you're going to want to know how to deal with objects that are in a room or um, somehow related or outside um, or part of what you want to draw. So this is a situation that comes up in almost everybody's drawings is um, what to do with a desk or a table or a bench or couch or whatever um, when you're drawing the interior of a room. And what I like to do is kind of measure out the room. Like, so if it's a nine foot ceiling and you're about six feet tall, um, say, and the desk is about 32 inches tall, you can easily divide that back plane into thirds and begin the desk. What I like to do is start with the back plane where it touches the wall or is up against the wall. And the critical part of this is making sure that this the desk overlaps properly. Um, and the reason that you start with the back plane is so that you don't put the desk through the wall. And I always like to simplify. So I like to start with making the desk a very simple cube, basically, and make sure that goes back in correct perspective. And then I like to subdivide it and change it. You can modify it, round out the corners, whatever you need to do to make it a realistic um, object. But the first step is just to sort of box it in because perspective is really good at dealing with boxes. It's not as good as dealing with um, organic forms. So once you have that box drawn, then you can kind of modify it as needed. So a simple way to do that is just to begin with the top of the desk. And all you have to do is kind of follow your lines and perspective and create this sort of surface for the desk. And this is sort of oversimplifying it and this is a very sort of generic way of doing it. Um, so you'll want to modify it to the specifics of the desk that you're drawing. And a, a big problem is that when people draw the legs, they don't draw this little extra bit of depth. They just draw a flat sort of plane there that's magically holding up the desk. And I like to think through and make sure that the de that the desk legs all have a relationship on all four sides and that they're similar in their approach and everything. So, you know, I can only see two planes, but I want to be aware of the back planes of each leg that I can't see and make sure that they're that they're sitting in the right places and that I'm accounting for their existence, especially when I start to put a chair under there or any objects near it. Um, the critical part of this is just to make sure that it feels like it's sitting within a space in a realistic way. And to do that, it's all about um, your proportions and drawing sort of back to front rather than front to back.